Gentlemen, I've got a question for you. How many times have you ever heard a woman utter the phrase, God, I love running my fingers through his back hair? Exactly. Never. Chest hair, on the other hand, there's a market. Many women love a dude with a nice, thick mountain of chest hair. Personally, I like the whole 12-year-old boy look in terms of chest hair. But today isn't about chest hair, it's about back hair. We're going over my top five back hair removal tips, plus special bonus, a back hair removal tutorial with a special guest. Back hair removal tip number one. If you have back hair, you should probably remove it. And by probably, I mean definitely. Tip number two, shoulder hair must go. Because let's face it, if you got back hair, you probably or will at some point in the near future have some shoulder hair. It's a great idea to remove that as well. Because you can't have a super smooth, clean, sexy looking back and then have Chewbacca shoulders. Back hair removal tip number three. Once your hair is removed, you need to manage it once a week. Simply add it to your weekly grooming regimen. If you have back hair, you probably got some serious nose hair action, and eyebrows are probably a bit nuts as well. And so, once a week, as you go in and manage that, manage that. Add it to the rotation. Once a week. Back hair removal tip number four. Don't ask your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, sister, brother, mother, father, buddies, or nana to shave your back. Even if you ask and they say yes, they don't want to. We are men. We are competent. We are capable and we can manage our own back hair. <laughs> but, but I can't reach. No excuses. The good news is that with the advancement in technology and modern hair removal options, poor flexibility is no longer an issue. And back hair removal tip number five, choose the best removal option for you. All right, so now let's go over the different non-friend or significant other removal options. Option number one is hot waxing. The upside to waxing is that it is fast. Boom, you go in, bang, it is done. It's also going to leave you nice and smooth like a baby's booty for around three weeks. Maybe four. Some people are like, you can get away with six. Three weeks is about as long as you get. Um, you're also going to have the unpleasant side effect if you're not exfoliating of ingrown hairs, bumps, and pimples because those hairs have to break through the surface. They start growing back, and if you're not letting them come through, they can get pretty painful, and a back full of acne is pretty unsightly as well. Option number two is electrolysis. Now, there is a common misconception that once you go in for electrolysis, you never have to go in again. It's gone poof, like a fart in the wind, it vanishes. And this is absolutely not true. A lot of the hair will grow back and you have to go in for multiple treatments. The treatments consist of them sticking a small metal probe into each and every hair follicle, giving it a little zap, boop, and it falls out. And if you're lucky, the majority of it won't come back, but it is painful and it is expensive. Option number three is laser. They can zap a larger area, so it's less painful than electrolysis. It generally will do a pretty good job removing your hair. It is going to be expensive. And as far as it eliminating your back hair altogether, not the case. And even after you're done with the treatment, a lot of times you are going to have patches of hair that actually come back and going to ultimately have to revert to option number four, which is a back hair removal treatment. Tool. So now the question is, what back shaver is best? Gentlemen, here's the deal. If you are buying any other product other than the back blade, you're wasting your money. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, but gentlemen, I, it's, I need to show you how this thing actually works. The masterful beauty of it. Gentlemen, for that, I'm going to need a very special guest. And so, without any further ado, I give you the man, the myth, the legend, Kenny. Hi. Gentlemen, today we're taking Backblade 1.0 for a test drive, but the inspiration for this video is Backblade 2.0, which I'll talk about after Kenny shows you how this bad boy works. Kenny! Take it off. All right, gentlemen, the reason why I love the back blade so much is because it is so simple. It's like a back scratcher with blades. Now, the great thing about this also, you can use it wet or dry. The guard is on there and it will prevent you from cutting yourself. Huh? Kenny, how's that feel? Does it hurt? No, it feels great. Can you do a little more? This, like I said, is the absolute hands down best 
back shaver on the market. Does it tickle around the love handles? Oh, hang on. Yes. <laughs> you can do it yourself. It comes off. It is so incredibly easy. And the wide mouth blade makes it incredible. Now, I would like to talk to you about 2.0. The inspiration for this video is my buddy Matt. He sent me the back blade 2.0. This is actually a prototype. It folds up, it's got two rows of blades, it's got all sorts of fancy features, all right? It's also ergonomically appropriate so that you can get the back and down low without actually cranking your shoulder which is a good thing. Yes, it is. Gentlemen, they are doing a Kickstarter campaign, which I highly recommend. If you've got back hair, if you want to check out 1.0, there's a link down below to their Amazon account. It is the number one back seller, back seller, back shaver that Amazon sells. If you want to check them out, there's a link down below. Read the reviews. It's not just my opinion. That is the best. And when I say best, I mean super freaking best back shaver on the market. Kenny, do you agree? I do. Now let's talk about the Kickstarter campaign. They're doing some crazy giveaways, good deals. There's going to be all sorts of cool add-ons. Even comes with a little brush. Gentlemen, this thing is... <sighs> Sorry, did you see that? I was testing it. Guys, this is prototype, but if you want to grab a 2.0 for yourself, go over to their Kickstarter campaign. There's also a video they put together with the gorilla. What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. No, no, <laughs> it works on chest hair. It works on pretty much anywhere. Um, I've used this on my butt cheeks, and it's great for your butt cheeks, actually. It is, because it doesn't take the hair below the skin, so you don't get the ingrown hairs. Um, on 2.0, the version, the blades are going to actually be replaceable. There's all sorts of crazy upgrades. Go and check them out over a Kickstarter. I don't promote Kickstarter campaigns as a general rule, but the back blade is something I believe in the product with 100% all of my back hair heart. And the proof is in the pudding, gentlemen, and Kenny's back. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got back hair, there's only one product that you need to worry about. It's the back blade. Kenny! Woo! So gentlemen, thanks for watching. All the links are down below to 1.0, 2.0. This is yours, Kenny. Thank you so much for letting me use your hairy back. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> the benefits to being my friend. <laughs> nice robe. Thank you. Get out of here. <laughs>